Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and our series on aspect ratios. Mm -hmm. Today we are talking 1.85 to 1. But also lumping in there, 16 by 9. Ooh. Um, yeah. Deadly what? double. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see right now, we're taking up the whole frame. This is 16 by 9. Um, and that's 1.85. I don't know why I did sound effects. I don't know what's going to be in there. But yeah, this is 1.85 and this is 16 by 9. So it's pretty close to each other. What is the difference? Where does 185 come from, Ethan? 185 comes from movies, obviously. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a movie aspect ratio, yeah. unlike 16 by 9, which is a TV aspect ratio. Yes. 16 by 9 does not exist on film. What did you just say to me? Doesn't exist on film. Oh. 16 by 9 comes from digital cameras. Yeah. And they shoot like that digitally because they know that's what your screen size is going to be. If you try to shoot, if you're working on film, let's say, um, what's his name? Roger Deakins is your DP, your famous director, and you're like, Roger, I'd like this to be 16 by 9. He'll slap you across the face and call you an idiot. Roger Deakins will slap you and say, that's not possible with film. Well, not shooting film anyways. You can edit it digitally to be... 16 by 9, but you can't shoot it. That is if you're shooting film. But really, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want. So 1.85 to 1 comes from movies, as Ethan said. Um, it is a really widescreen image, but it's also really taller than um, the standard widescreen. So you're seeing a lot more of the top and the bottom of the frame. Um, and you're, But it's not also super tight, like 4 by 3. It's also wide. Um, and screen. Yeah, full screen. Usually, most things these days are set to, I would say, 1.85. Like, it's one of those standard ratios, kind of like 2.35 or 2.39. And then 16 by 9 comes from the shape of our TVs and the shape of our computer screens. Um, when you're watching a TV show, it's probably broadcast or streaming in 16 by 9. Um, if you're watching on a TV. Um, where it takes up the whole thing. And the difference is so small that when you play a movie or show in 1.85 to 1, it's going to take up most of the screen except for a little tiny bars in the top and bottom. But why would someone use 1.85 1, 1 to 1 or 16 by 9? Um, one of the reasons, and I'll tie in this directly into my, my movie choice for this aspect ratio mm -hmm. specifically, uh, which is Sin City, I haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. um, you get to see just the maximum amount of coverage in your screen. You get mm -hmm. to see the widest possible, but also yeah. the tallest. So you're catching all things in the frame. And in Sin City, they kind of use this as like, I mean, it's, it's a comic book mm -hmm. that they're basing it off of. And they're stylizing it very much into that comic booky feel where you're basically looking at it as these big, full comic book panels. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where I feel like why they would have gone with that look because you're not seeing a lot of narrow, mm -hmm. um, short comic book panels. That's just not really a thing. Usually you're, you want to maximize the amount of visual space, um, which is why they would go with an aspect ratio like 1.85, yeah. where you get to see everything. You're not yeah. cutting off the tops of people's heads or the bottom of their, their neck or you know losing side information. You're, you're getting the whole thing. Yeah. And my, my pick, my recommendation would be Birdman. And so Birdman is this movie that's made to look like it's one continuous long take. Um, and you just get, you can get really gorgeous kind of close-ups, but you can also see lots of stuff in the foreground and the background. Like you get this really full kind of rectangle. With 2.39 to 1, it's really skinny, right? So it's a skinny shape. But with this, it's a little bit taller. So you can get like, you can get better close-ups in 1.85 or 16 by 9 um, than you can in normal stuff. And it has a nice, very pleasing shape. It fills up your whole TV screen. If you would like to fill up, um, if you're making a movie and you want it to fill up the entire screen um, and you don't want it to like have black bars at the very bottom or the very, you know, or on the sides, um, 16 by 9 or 1.85 is a really good ratio for that because you can maximize the most amount of screen where it doesn't stand out, where you don't have those bars. Because yeah. sometimes seeing those bars can take you out and make you aware of um, that you're watching a movie. It's a very immersive aspect mm -hmm. ratio. It really yeah. sucks you in because you're taking up, like you said, all of it. There's no, there's nothing on your screen that's saying this is a movie. It's just all of it. Yeah. yeah. So you're really maximizing the most amount of screen you can, which is a really cool thing, especially if it's on a TV that's, you know, um, 
a rectangle or a computer screen or whatever you know you're streaming on Mo this will take up your whole screen which is which can be pretty cool yeah right. if you like the video uh you know like subscribe click the bell comment what your favorite movie that was shot in 1.85 to 1 or 16 by 9 or tv show or tv Since show it kind of crosses over lots of tv yeah. shows are 16 by 9 yeah so yeah. Yeah, hope you, you enjoyed this video, and until next time, we'll uh, see you later. Pew, pew. That was dumb. <laughs> <laughs>